Hey folks, 762 by 51 NATO. I just wanted to talk, talk about a couple things here. A couple things that came to my attention related to guns. Just saw here Fox News covering a story. Des Moines, Des Moines Register publishes a gun ban column advocating violence against the NRA and GOP leaders. So I went to the original article here, and this guy here is amazing. He uh, first off starts by talking about repealing the Second Amendment. And he admits it offers an absolute right to gun ownership. Um, but then he starts talking about militia, yada, yada, yada. Gun ownership should be a privilege, not a right. Here we go. Declare the NRA a terrorist organization and make membership illegal. Hey, we did it to the Communist Party, and the NRA has led to the deaths of more of us than American commies ever did. I would also raise the organization's headquarters, clear the rubble, and salt the earth, but that's optional. Make ownership of unlicensed assault rifles a felony. If some people refuse to give up their guns that prying the guns from their cold, dead hands, thing works for me. Here we go. Then I would tie Mitch McConnell and John Boehner up, or our esteemed Republican leaders, to the back of a Chevy pickup truck and drag them around a parking lot until they saw the light on gun control. If that didn't work, I'd adopt radical measures. This is incredible. And I cannot believe that a newspaper would write something like this. This is terrible. Terrible. Here's the thing, folks. We always complain because liberals, when they get their panties all up in a bind, they send letters and they complain and they boycott sponsors and things like that. You know what? We need to start doing that. We need to start, and you don't have to boycott particularly a sponsor, but you need to send the sponsor a letter and let them know that you disapprove of what they're paying somebody else to print, what they're sponsoring. Like here, for example, here's Ford. Send Ford a letter. U.S. Cellular. This is on their website. Now, you could go, I'm sure you can Google it, find out other sponsors that sponsor their um, newspaper, but we need to start doing that. And we need to send these people a letter. I just sent them a letter expressing my how disgusting this column is. We need to start doing that as gun owners, as conservatives, whatever you are. We need to follow the tactic of the left because honestly, right now it's working. Here's another article. This one here, uh, found in Fox News, but it was a link to Breitbart. FBI annual crime statistics. So I actually went to the FBI page. Crime in the United States 2011. Of course, 2012 is not computed yet. We're talking about assault rifles, right? Assault rifles. 323 rifle deaths. Not assault rifle. Rifle deaths altogether, which means the quote-unquote assault rifles is even less than that. 323. That's not very many. Compare it to knives and other cutting instruments, 1,694. Hammers, clubs, and other blunt objects, 496. Personal weapons, which is used in your body, that's hands, fists, feet, etc., 726. That's double rifles. Over double. All right? And put this in perspective. There are tens of millions of guns in the United States. There are millions and millions of gun owners. Of legal gun owners. Okay? Now, out of the millions and millions of legal guns, that doesn't include the illegal ones, there were 8,583 firearm deaths last year, or in 2011. Put in perspective, that's not very many. Now, I do believe that any deaths are unnecessary, and it's unfortunate, right? But, putting that in perspective, that's very few. When we compare to, I went to the CDC 
10,228 people were killed in alcohol-impaired driving crashes. 10,228 needless deaths. But are people screaming to ban alcohol? No. Because guns make an easy target. They look mean. And quite frankly, I mean, of, of course the liberals would, wouldn't want to ban alcohol or drugs or anything like that. So I just want to put this in perspective. 323 rifle deaths in 2011. Yet we're concerned about assault rifles. We're going to our government is going to put all of this effort into debating an assault rifle ban. And there were 323 deaths last year. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying that those aren't, un, those aren't important people. Because I know if I was a family member of one of those people, I wouldn't be happy. I'd be, of course, it's an upsetting, upsetting thing to have somebody killed. But, put in perspective, I think there are a lot of other things if we want to cut down on the number of deaths in our country. There's a lot of other things we could go after. So, I would like to hear your comments on this. Simplify.